fights like this, and one of them is coming up right next. It's going to be I'm Jerry. So yeah. Tell him who's Jerry. Who's Jerry? He's Jerry. The guy on the right. Yeah, Jerry is, I believe, like number six on our PR in MDVA, and he's going up against Pew Pew U. And this man, uh, actually, if you go back far enough, he used to go by Obi and lost the MDVA Arcadian in 2014. And now here he is, top 24 of Super Smash Con, fighting Pew Pew U. Obi with a nice recovery. Jerry, man. That's yeah. what he used to be called? He used to be called Obi. Now he's Jerry. Dang. Okay, so this guy, he took me out in my pool in loser side, and he took out Crush. Yeah. All right, not Crush. Sorry, Captain Smuckers. They, I mean, Jerry is not a force to be messed with, man. He's he's on our PR for a reason. But Pew Pew U, a master of the Fox matchup, as we're seeing right now. Very interesting that they start on Yoshi's. Classically, Marth is good on this stage because of, his, because of his range, but Fox is so fast. Lots of invincibility, lots of kill setups. Yeah, we actually see this matchup a lot in MBVA against Zane, and he actually also gets taken to Yoshi's a lot. I think the Fox players have decided they like keeping the space close and running in against Marth, and, you know, keeping the pressure up. There's so many good mix-ups coming from Fox, whether he does a running shine, aerial grab, and the small distance forces Marth to make a decision each time. He's got to back off into the corner, or make a decision with a cross-up. Wow, Jerry looking for a shine spike already. Yeah, playing very aggressively. He's matched the stock count and not taking a lot of damage on his second stock. And he's gotten grabbed, and QBU's gotten very little off grabs. Maybe he can do it here. There we go. This is what more of what I was expecting. Very fast fall down from PPU, but no follow up. Get up attack from Jerry working out. Jerry's neutral game is pretty simple, but he's avoided a lot of attacks. Wow, a great sweet spot and the invincible ledge dash to up smash. And you can hear the crowd in the background all here for Jerry. Now I will say, this man was known as a Wi-Fi warrior, so he is the kind of guy to have all the tech skill down. He His will get those skill. invincible ledge dashes. He will do crazy tech stuff that you will not expect from a standard Fox. His tech is very clean and, and well said. Jerry now taking a lot of damage from this. He's going to hold down and try to avoid any follow-up. Yeah, and he gets out of there with not too much damage from someone like Pew Pew Yu. Yeah, really great defense coming out from Jerry, but he's having a hard time resetting neutral right now. Pew Pew always cutting him in the right spot. What a sick combo. Who goes for down smash to set up a tech chase into tipper F smash? I don't think I've ever seen that. Pew Pew with a solid stock lead right now. Yeah, really great patience to get that F smash. And now he's in the corner making his way out with aerials. How is he going to push forward? So many jabs. Yeah, jabs so hard for Fox to deal with. But again, the sweet spot from Jerry, he's so good at that. The low sweet spot is so good, and even the angle on Yoshi's didn't make it easier for PBU to get that recovery. Oh, he missed the ledge cancel, and that could be it. PBU looking for an edge guard here, and a tipper F smash to seal the deal. That was so sick from PBU using that down tilt F smash. Jerry with some nice gameplay, but really not a lot of damage tacked on on the offense. Yeah, it's very difficult for him to get in against a player like PPU, right? PPU, while he was dropping his combos, he still kept winning the neutral game. It wasn't like uh, PPU was dropping combos and it was costing him the game. He was still winning overall. Exactly. And one pitfall that Mark can have is that he chases down Fox incorrectly. There are a lot of times that he was in a good spot to engage. He played neutral so well. Right here, we're going to see, is Fox going to run away a lot, making it hard for PPU to engage? Well, we'll see. I mean, Jerry, not necessarily a campy kind of player. It's going to be best of five, so there are no bans. Yeah, this is actually a pretty interesting counter pick, considering that he just lost on Yoshi's story. So he says, all right, I guess we'll just go to the opposite. Yeah, let's see what the biggest size stage is going to offer. Now, a lot of advantage here, naturally, by the platforms. You cannot get kills set up by Marth, except for up tilt. Oh, wow, a weird Roy zone as a jab and down tilt go through each other. QPU gets a small grab combo, but again, dropping it early. Yeah, the get up attack really cleaned up that missed tech. QPU going back for the damage. How many grabs can this man get? Apparently an infinite number, as now he has Jerry off stage. Takes the ledge back, but then Jerry with the invincible up smash again. That scored a kill. The form from Jerry is so sick. Invincibility for the kill. So good. But a quick turnaround from Pew Pew, he takes that stock right back, right in even three stocks. It looks like Pew Pew has to improvise a lot on his damage, but he's always been keeping up. Jerry on the other hand, pretty simple gameplay, and the clean ledge dash up smashes are one of his signatures. 
Yeah, I mean, his just movement is so good with those wave dashes. He's not able to get a shine spike here. He was obviously looking for it. But he's just going to retreat, shoot those lasers. This is a key block coming out of Pew Pew, and you see how he switched to fair during that up air chain. Really smart. Jerry with a misclick right there. Yeah, that's super unfortunate for Jerry. He was keeping the game even, but now uh, Pew Pew can play a lot safer. Exactly. Just with that stock advantage, and this Dancing Blade is going to mess him up. And what a great move when you get turned around underneath there. Hard to recover. Yeah, I mean, Jerry did the best he could. He exploited that weakness. It's back to an even stock, but Pew Pew with another grab. Grab in the middle of this stage is so similar to FD. You're so far away from the platforms. Nice attack on damage by Pew Pew, but look at this combo. Really sick gameplay from Jerry. Nice air dodge upwards. Now Pew Pew trying to turn it around again. He's been struggling with these platforms. Great counter pick from Jerry. Oh, this dash and so gets turned over. Jerry now on the, on the outsides. Oh, but that down air does miss. PPU gets another punish. Jerry chilling by the ledge. Goes for invincible dash tag this time, but PPU was ready. He says, all right, if you're going to do this invincible stuff from the ledge, I'm just going to wait. He's going to dash dance right near the middle and bait it out. Jerry, you got one more try on recovery before I think you're just going to get smacked off that stage. Sour spot up till for the kill. Yes, even on Dreamland, sending him way out there. He's not going to make it back. Yeah, it's really hard to DI that move. Really great knockback growth. Jerry actually just get hit by a down tilt and decide, yeah, I'm just going to F smash now. Yeah, I'm going to CC hit you back. And if he had done that Marth Killer correctly, he would have gotten that stock. Wispy maybe even blowing off Marth. Yeah, Wispy helping out a little bit there. Jerry has brought Pew Pew to last stock. He can make it happen. Yeah, really nice speed coming out from Jerry. But can he handle his own? A lot of knockdowns have spelt defeat for him. Oh, I think he was looking for some kind of shine, but he's just opting to stay safe. Yeah, great, great DI from PPU going away from him. You want to maintain your safety. Oh, great SDI from PPU as well. And then fantastic coverage, and that'll do it. Sick form coming out from PPU. Really on stage fairs, getting into a Ken combo. A lot yeah. of confidence. And it was the on stage fair where he hard called out a side beat to platform cancel. He said, look, I know you're going to be right here. Let me just hit that fair. Of course, Jerry holding in, doesn't DI it correctly. Can combo immediately after. And let's see if there's a different counter pick for game three. No, going to run it right on back to Dreamland. Yeah, it seems like this map seemed pretty good for him. No glaring weaknesses for Fox here. Uh, regular get up shine. People are not ready for it. Jerry's trying to get some offense going with these running shines, but it seems like he's just not wave dashing out properly yeah, he just keeps going for shine for the optimal punish hasn't been getting any grabs or anything like that and few pew you might have just taken a stock no not quite great angle from jerry yeah fox is so sick and this get up attack is timed so well against pew pew he's watching for the dash pew pew with great control great move selection always pushing off fox Oh, and fantastic spacing from PBU. He takes that first stock. Two hits of Dancing Blade to tipper F smash on a tech read. Yeah, that tech read was so sick. Really great tech from Jerry, trying to go farthest away from Marth, but the sword is too long, bro. I mean, what can Jerry really do to deal with the, in, the fantastic play from PBU? Yeah, the range is really bothering him right now. Jerry is not doing a lot of stop mix-ups, I like to call him. He's not doing wave dash down or block coming up to Marth. So a lot of times Marth just throws out this move and it wins. But if you anticipate and whiff, it might work better. I think he's also been struggling in the edge guard game, finally getting a real edge hog right there, taking that first stock. But he's been looking for these shine spikes that he just hasn't been able to convert off exactly. of. Exactly. He's been threatening the same thing over and over again. And maybe it's time now to mix it up. The threat is there. Can you fight without it? Pew Pew you missing this counter. Really great edge guard. But Jerry goes around it. And we might see another Ken combo. No, Jerry with a great DI back on stage. But PBU still in control. This fair gets reversed. Jerry's now on the ground, tacking on damage. What great form from PBU, rising the top platform to get this follow up. Oh, but he misses the option coverage. This platform really screwed it up. Jerry still got life. Wow, Waveland on the platform to fall through fair. I can't believe it worked. And Jerry, an uncharacteristic miss there. I think he was looking to wave shine into anything, but not full hop. 
But wow, just runs in with the up smash near the ledge. Jerry's resilience on keeping the stock is so impressive. So many times he's being edge guarded, and you're right. Dang. The <laughs> missed shine follow-ups are really costing him. He's, he's landed a lot of raw shines, but the follow-up that's usually guaranteed is not. Like, just like there. Wow, and Pew Pew Yu starting to call out the Nair approaches with his Nair of his own. Yeah, standing Nair from Marth is pretty good, but gets defeated by a lot of things, so it's just a mix-up in neutral. Running and Shine that, succeeding. Yeah, I mean, he's definitely calling out the neutral with that Running Shine, but he hasn't been able to get much off of it. Maybe he can do it here. Has Pew Pew Yu off stage. And no, he's not to stop doing that running detail towards the ledge. Instead of catching PPU retreating, when PPU is near the ledge, he's just holding shield. PPU almost getting this edge guard attempt, but Jerry right now a little hesitant on his follow-ups. He's gonna get this great DI up and then get caught down. And it's PPU calling out his illusions again. It's the side V's on stage or to the ledge. PPU's just waiting for that, that that sound effect, and he throws out a fair. Yeah, really great gameplay from PPU, showing us how to handle Illusion. This fair spam is actually really annoying to deal with. He's mixing up his timings, and he's going to get this land on stage. Once again, threatening that jump like we've always seen. Wow, and a great SDI to get out of the up throw up air. I don't even think it'll work anymore at this percentage. So Maybe Jerry, if he gets a platform follow-up, but you're right. It's going to be tough to land that raw kill from grab. Yeah, he's going to be looking for an up smash for sure. And he's been trying to get it with this jab, yeah, but PBU's okay. been DIing that jab so well every time. Yeah, insane DI coming out. And this knockdown is going to start this combo. Goes for another up air instead of fair. Oh my goodness, PBU doing so much damage. And that is should have been it, but PBU drops it trying to style. Yeah, running off stage was a pretty interesting attempt, but now it's Jerry's time. To get an opening back, not get 3-0'd. Yeah, he's at 130% though. The Dancing Blade not going to kill, but the Crouch Cancel on Get Up Attack will lead to a Tipper F Smash, and PPU takes a quick 3-0 over Jerry. Yeah, PPU played that so magnificently. I'm definitely going to review that footage as a Marth player myself, getting those reads on recoveries, handling neutral games so well. Like I said, I feel like Jerry did too many running shines, too many straightforward approaches as a Fox. I would like to see him stop a little bit, appreciate the fair or the whiff, and then whiff punish. I honestly saw very little just typical Fox stuff. Nair approaches, 